You've got a great business idea. Do other people agree? Market research helps you to discover if people will buy your product or service. Or, if you've been in business for a while, market research tells you what the market thinks of you. Market research is essential for understanding your market, finding out who will buy your product or service, and discovering your unique selling point. Here, we'll look at how market research can help you identify your target market and refine your product. We'll outline different kinds of research and some best practice principles. First, let's look at deciding who your potential customers are. If you don't find the right customers, you won't sell your product. You might start by asking existing customers for their opinion. Who do they think could benefit from your product or service? Even if you aren't in business yet, you'll have an idea of who your customers might be. Is your product for consumers or other businesses? Is it for a certain age group, gender or occupation? It might be useful to discover who lives in the areas you intend to do business. Publicly available data, such as census information, can inform your research. Once you've identified your target market, think about the type of customer information that could take your idea forward. What do your customers want? And how can your product deliver it? When you're doing market research, what should you be trying to find out? The critical thing to discover is whether your target market is interested in buying your product or service. Like most of us, people in your target market know what they don't like more often than what they do. What are their concerns about your product? How should you price your product? Weigh up a few factors here. What are your consumers willing to pay? What are your competitors charging? And what are your costs? What do your customers think of your competitors? Ask them if there's anything you can do better than the competition. Why do they choose you over others? You can learn a lot about your competition in market reports, their turnover, profits and sales patterns. You can buy market reports or frequently find them free of charge in your library, online, through a trade association, in trade publications and through local chambers of commerce. Invest Northern Ireland's Business Information Centre also provides access to market research and company information. In addition, you can find out about your competition by going straight to your competitors and asking them what they offer, or look at their advertising and other promotional material. Gathering information from as many sources as possible will help you to build an accurate picture. You can then use this information to improve your offering and challenge your competitors on price, quality and service. What methods can you use to gather market information? We mentioned earlier that looking at census data can help you discover your target market. We've also touched on how market reports can provide information on your competitors. These reports also provide information on the popularity of your market, consumer behaviour within it and the trends that are shaping its future. You might organise focus groups, invite potential customers together to talk about the advantages and drawbacks of your product or service. Prototype testing is useful before launching a new product. Ask a selection of likely customers to use an early version of your product and give feedback. Their opinions can help you improve your designs. You could use questionnaires in person, by phone, online or through the post. Make sure you include plenty of open-ended questions that allow your respondents to explain why they like or don't like your product. Negative feedback is more valuable than compliments. Discovering the faults in your product will help you improve it. The research methods you choose will depend on how much you can afford, the product or service you're offering, and your market. No matter the mix of research methods you use, make sure that you do both quantitative and qualitative research. Quantitative research gives you facts and figures, how many people are likely to buy your product, or how much a certain group earns. Qualitative research tells you about your customers' thoughts and feelings about your product or service. Finally, there are five things that you must do to get the most out of your market research. 1. Ask the right questions. If your questions are poorly worded, your results will have little value. Ask specific open-ended questions that invite your respondent to explain their answer. For example, what are you looking for in a vacuum cleaner? Avoid yes or no questions. 2. Talk to the right people. You need to canvas the opinions of all your potential customers. Don't spend time talking to people who have no intention of buying your product, but don't rule out anyone unnecessarily. 3. Make sure you speak to enough people, especially when conducting a questionnaire. A small group will not give you enough information 
for an accurate picture. Ask at least 150 people and find representatives of each group you intend to target. 4. Be impartial. Don't encourage people to give you the answers that you'll like to hear. Criticism will help you improve your product. 5. Be realistic when you're interpreting your results. Professional researchers allow for error in their results, and you should too. If a figure looks too good to be true, it probably is. Now that you have an idea about what's involved in market research, why not get started? Understanding your customers and their buying habits will help you sell more effectively, compete with other suppliers, target new customers, and identify new opportunities.